Hey, Aubrey, how was your holiday week last week? Fantastic. I love the holidays. <laughs> I was a little sad when it's over. What about you? It was great. As you know, guys, we are recording in advance. So while we're talking right now, it was Thanksgiving for us last week. Um, so we had a couple days off and spent some time with families and such. That's actually really funny because I thought you meant Christmas. I'm like, oh yeah, okay, this is coming out right after Christmas. So we're pretending it's just after Christmas. Got it. Check. I'm sad. Holidays are over. <laughs> you meant Thanksgiving. Yeah, Thanksgiving. Are you sad, ready for Christmas? Christmas? No. Oh my really gosh, ready. me either. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, we are not here to talk about getting ready for Christmas. We are here to talk about getting ready for IELTS. And we had a very specific getting ready for IELTS question. Yes, this is a great question about if you only have 15 days to study, what should you do? We have great tips. A lot of you might be in this boat. These tips will be useful even if you have more time than that to study. So I'm excited about this today. It's a great question. Okay. Um, so Aubrey, can you read the question and the uh, listener's name? This was posted on Spotify. So thanks for listening us listening to us on Spotify. Yes, this listener is Arun Pal Singh. And the question is how to practice before 15 days of IELTS exam and score more than seven. So like, what should you do? How can you practice? What should you study if you only have 15 days before you're taking the exam? For most people, if you're aiming for a seven, I would say 15 days is too little. Um, <laughs> for most people, I would say, of course, guys, it all depends on where you're starting from. Like if your English is already really great, you know, if you're like an upper intermediate level student and basically all you have to do is learn the strategies and, you know, get some test practice, it might be doable. And I still say might because there are so many intricacies of the speaking and writing that even if your English is good, if you don't practice these things a lot, you still will have a tough time getting a seven. Yeah, that's a really good point. Unfortunately, there is no magic potion to get you a seven after 15 days. Depends a lot on where you are now, the strategies you've learned, but there is a lot that you can do if you're right there between a six and a seven. And if yeah. there are a few things you could focus on to push to that seven, yeah, absolutely. So today, guys, we are going to help you um, make a two-week study plan or a 15-day study plan. Before we get to that, though, let's read some recent Spotify poll results. Yes, we had the poll, what would you get on IELTS speaking if you took it today? I was very curious to hear what you guys Me would too. respond. 25% of our listeners said five, 62% <laughs> said six, and 12% said seven. So this is really interesting to look at. So few of you, you know, know that you could get the seven that you probably need. Most people listening to this podcast need a seven or higher. So a lot of work to do. I'm glad we're here to help you with tips. And also, yeah, we got to get that confidence up too, right? I have a feeling that some of you listening maybe could get a seven, but you don't have the confidence yet. What do you think, Jessica? It's possible. It's possible. Those statistics um, are accurate and reflecting what people usually get on the IELTS exam, though. So that doesn't surprise me that most people are around a, a six there. Yeah. You um, guys are just realistic, and I want to be more starry-eyed. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we're going to get into this today, though. Like, how can we um, not get that six and prepare for a seven? Because so many mm -hmm. people are stuck around a six. So let's talk about, guys, real actions, real things you can do to increase that score. The first, of course, is following our podcast. Um, <laughs> if you're not following IELTS Energy, hit follow right now. Uh, don't miss the recent episode we did that focuses on a specific speaking strategy for higher scores. Why slowing down gets higher speaking scores. So that's episode 1333. Scroll up if you missed that one. Now let's get into our ideas for a two-week study plan. Okay. What do you think students should do first? Yeah, so first, 
week one, right? You want to separate this out, really think about what should I be focusing on each week? So that first week, take a practice test. Um, and also we have a recent episode 1324, where can I get free graded practice tests? So if you're not sure where to find them, check that out, scroll up. And this will help you know what you have to work on, right? You're going to get your scores for reading and listening. So you'll know if you need to work more on strategies to improve those scores, or if you can focus more on improving your speaking and writing scores. Exactly. Yeah. Cause some people are, maybe they're already at a seven for listening and they're like, okay, I don't yeah. need to practice that. I'm fine. So I'm going to focus on these other, um, sections for most people though you're gonna want to do all four sections like you are going to need to prepare for all parts of the ielts test because they're all difficult and they all have different strategies different skills that you need to master um and that's a lot to do so that's why the second step is making a study plan um do you do you make study plans for anything like i'm just thinking how much I love to organize information and the way that I plan for say a vacation or um, to save money for a goal, the way that I plan for my personal goals is very much like how we do study plans for courses, you know, yeah. identifying your goals, identifying specific actions you can do to reach those goals. So Aubrey, do you do that in any, any part of your life? I am not as good at that in my life, but the exam I scored the best on in my life was the AP English exam in high school. Mm. And I think that was a big part of it. I took this AP English class where the teacher was like you, very organized, very systematic. We had a study plan. We knew what we were doing every day. And I can really see how that affected. I got a perfect score. I scored a five on the AP English what? exam, which is the best you can. I got college credit. It was amazing. That's and amazing. I credit a lot to the study plan that I used. Used. That's awesome. I didn't know that. Aubrey, yeah. you're so smart. I don't usually brag about that, but I am proud of that score. My kids are now at the age where they're taking AP exams and they're like yeah. flabbergasted that I scored a five on one. It's ah! very difficult to do. That's so amazing. That's so awesome. Um, all right. So study plans do help. And especially for IELTS when there are so many things to think about and practice, you have to have a plan, guys. Even not even if, especially if your time is short, you have to use that time well, but don't overdo it because that is a big danger here. You get nervous and you end up studying for IELTS like six hours a day. Guys, our brains cannot learn efficiently for that long. So if you are studying for six hours, you're wasting like three of those hours. You know what I mean? Because you're not learning efficiently anymore. Exactly. You want to spend two to three hours a day max, and that's you're going to get the most value out of those hours, more than if you spent six to eight. There's just you're mm -hmm. losing so much value, right? And five yeah. days a week. Take days off, guys. Let your brain rest. Enjoy your time so that you can be really effective when you are studying. All right. So what do we put on our plan then? How do we actually um, identify our daily goals and targets? Um, first, guys, you have to learn the strategies for each section, right? So just go in order, right? Monday and Tuesday, do listening. Wednesday and Thursday, do reading. Um, Friday and Saturday, do writing. This, like, organize it like that. Focus on one skill a day or one skill every two days. And you need to learn test strategies first. Learn all about that, that specific section. How long does it take? How many times do you hear the audio? How many words do you have to write? You have to know all of these things going in so you get the highest score and you know what to prepare for. So learn all of that first and then immediately, guys, you need to apply that to test practice. Yes, we have taught a lot of these strategies you need right here on the podcast, but to find them all in one place, guys, an online IELTS course is really the way to go. Ours is found at allersenglish.com slash keys, K-E-Y-S, because the strategies you learn there, like Jessica's saying, they're so vital, especially if your time is short. Totally, totally. All right. So the next thing you need to know about your study plan, guys, is it's not just about IELTS practice tests. It's not just about matching headings to paragraph strategies. 
<laughs> no, there's more fun stuff that you must have and should have on your study plan because it's about balance. At the end of the day, IELTS is an English test. So you do need all of these IELTS strategies and test practice, but you also need to improve your overall fluency. Now, can you do that in 15 days? It's a big ask, right? But yes, you can improve in 15 days if you are taking in the right English that you enjoy, that inspires you and motivates you. Yes, that will help your English, your productive English, and it'll keep you motivated. Exactly right. And this is where we often say, make sure to actually listen to things you really enjoy. There's so much out there for someone learning English. So many podcasts, TV shows, you can choose something that you find really entertaining, right? From a variety of different sources. Make sure you're reading a book that you love. Also read newspapers, right? Keep it interesting so that you want to do that fluency practice. Get into a TV series. Before we hit record today, Aubrey and I were talking about the show Ozark on Netflix. She's already watched it all. I'm just getting into it and I'm obsessed. Like, I only want to watch this show. So, I want you guys to experience that in English. And if um, you feel un you get demotivated, let's say, because you can't understand everything, put on the subtitles. You're still learning. You're actively learning with the subtitles. It's not a weakness. It's a strategy, right? To improve. Yes. Um, but yeah, find, get into a series that you, that you really want to watch. Yes. And remember that you can use AI, ChatGPT, to come up with practice IELTS questions, give you examples of things that you could answer for speaking. This we talked about in a recent episode as well. 1337, can AI write IELTS questions? Spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> so I go can. listen to that episode for details. That episode is so good. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys, if you missed 1337, you guys have to go back and listen. We go through a whole general training letter that a student wrote to us based on a chat GPT test question that he made with AI. It's so good. Okay. Um, so to finish up, guys, let's get into week two. Now, what should we do in week two, Aubrey? Yes, you want to keep preparing and definitely do one to two full practice tests under exam conditions, right? Time your essays, time your speaking test so that you know what to expect. You can go in confidently knowing I can write these essays in the one hour that I have. Yep, exactly. And prepare for that speaking test, guys. Um, you're probably going to be talking to someone face to face unless you're doing IELTS online, which is a thing now. Um, <laughs> so however you're going to do the speaking test, practice that way. If you're going to be speaking to someone face to face, ask a friend to act like the examiner, ask you exam questions, time you, the whole nine yards, all that jazz. <laughs> <laughs> two idioms that are great. Nice. Um, but if you're doing online IELTS, then you practice, you know, on Zoom or Skype or something with a friend. Um, but either way, guys, you need to make your practice as close to test conditions as possible. Yes. Awesome. And we will have a new Spotify poll for you guys today. We want to know how many days are you planning to prepare for IELTS? We're very curious listeners out there. What, you know, are you spending quite a bit of time or are you like this student? You have 15 days to cram. Let us know on the Spotify poll. Awesome. I can't wait to see the answers. And we will uh, tell you all about those answers in a couple weeks. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. And remember that we are publishing on Tuesdays and Fridays now. So Aubrey and I will be back again on Friday. Awesome. See you guys Friday. Bye. Bye.